In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple tip on how you can make match coverage play significantly better, whether it be against Bunch or really any formation that you're going to face. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about match coverage, I have an entire ebook devoted to teaching the principles of every match defense in the game. And so if you want to get that defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be down in the description. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, you'll also get access to all the updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. Okay, guys, so I want to walk you through just kind of a simple adjustment out of match I really like right now. Um, I'm going to go to zone coverage. I'm going to set that to match. And then um, we're going to come out in the cover four quarters. Now, what I like to do real quick is put safeties at the linebacker position just to help us a little bit in coverage. And then want to put my fast dudes on the outside. Good pass rush. Um, nickel over is really good. It's really versatile. And I want to show you a great, a simple way to make this match coverage really, really effective. So um, whenever we're playing a trips formation, whether it be a bunch, a U-trips, trips tied in, all of those formations, one of the things we can do that is going to really fit in nicely uh, to our defense is we can actually use her this backside quarter defender. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put him on a blitz. I like to shade outside. This is going to help my solo Basically, going to help the entire defense play a little better against corner routes. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to take the linebacker that's in the three rec in the three receiver hook zone, and we're going to man him up onto the number three receiver. Whoever the number three receiver is in the formation, that is who we're going to use, or that is who how we're going to man this up. So in this example, we're going to man him up against the tight end. And then from there, we're going to take the defensive tackle that is on the trip side, and we're going to bluff blitz him to replace that three receiver hook. So you see, this is what the defense looks like here. Um, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and put curl flats on these outside guys. But you see here, really simple. And what makes this so good is really any corner route in the game that they're going to try to attack you with, you're going to have a pretty good chance of being able to um, defend that. Now, another little secret tip against Bunch that I do like to suggest to people is to back off that outside quarter. Uh, and the main reason is because if they're not running a vertical route, he'll play this match significantly better, as you can see right there. So the beauty of match coverage as it pertains to really any trip set, it doesn't matter, uh, well, specifically Bunch, but the, the beauty of this coverage is that it's going to force, it's going to allow your user to essentially stay over here in the middle of the field. So you'll see right here that if they run a corner route to the number one receiver, the match coverage is going to be able to, you know, be pretty good there. I got to be able to click on and make a catch. But you see my guy is in the area, he's in the vicinity uh, to be able to make a play. And again, it comes back to what I was talking about a second ago. If you back this guy off, it's going to significantly help your match cover. So you see here we're going to back him off, and now you see he's able to play it properly. So we're able to stop a corner out from the number three receiver or from the number one receiver, the number two receiver. And then the last receiver, which is actually the most rare uh, from any kind of, um, specifically from Bunch, that you're going to see a corner out from is going to be the tight end. And so what you'll see here is if the tight end runs a corner, we should have him bracketed pretty well, and the man coverage is going to be able to take that away. So as you can see, we're able to play really balanced coverage against really any flooding concept to the bunch side with this defense. Now the other thing that's really nice about this is that when we shade outside, there's no tell. So you'll see they can't necessarily tell that we're shading outside. And on this left side, you'll notice here, and actually that time he got burned, um, but a lot of times that guy will play. It's a little bit more of ratings based, um, you know, than man coverage. But anyways, you can back these guys up off the outside here. Maybe do something like this. It'll show blitz, which is not a bad coverage by any means. And you'll see that this a lot of times will play the C route relatively well. So you see right here, he's able to kind of catch up, maybe make a catch tackle, maybe make an interception. So the idea with this is we're going to funnel everything that the offense does. We want to try to funnel this uh, to the middle, which is where our user is. And so that's the beauty and the benefit of this coverage. You're going to see here, um, you know, now they're going to be in a position where they're going to have to run, you know, some kind of 
uh, post over the middle, uh, some kind of, you know, something like this. Well, that's right into where our user is at. So you see, I can easily just take the post and I'm able to play pretty balanced coverage. So the other thing that you can do out of match that not a lot of people are really, uh, really do a lot is you can actually blitz out of this. So all we're going to do is we're going to globally blitz our linebackers. We're going to shade outside and underneath. And then as you see right here, so what I like to do, um, due to the fact that, you know, this is a, a match blitz, we're going to man ourselves up to the tight end. That will kind of cue the match coverage to play a little better. And so what you'll see here is the pressure is going to fly in, and we're just going to lurk right in this little area right here and see how balanced, um, you know, this defense really is. We're able to really get to a lot of different things with our match coverage. Now, you can apply this to other formations. For example, let's say that they run into a 2x2 two two set. Um, so in a 2x2 two two set, if we want to keep our blitz look, what we would want to do is we would want to click on to this safety. So what we need to do is take this middle linebacker and man him up onto that number two receiver now because it's a two-by-two two balance formation. And then we're going to bluff blitz that defense tackle. So you see we're still in the same basic defense. And then against tight, what I really like to do is outside third, the side opposite of the tight end or the running back, and you see how really effective this defense really is. It's a great way to mix in match coverage and man coverage. Match coverage is also really good for defending aggressive catches. It's just one of my favorite adjustments right now, one of my favorite defenses, especially because you'll see if I was to go into a man blitz, then, you know, a lot of times this will look fairly similar to our cover four quarters. So you see that we can kind of create a defense that looks identical, and then now we're sending heavy pressure off the edge out of a man look, and it's going to be very similar in feel to the quarters plays. So a lot you can do with this. Um, I actually think there's a lot of benefit into just simply creating your man-to-man -man coverage. So, for example, on this right side, you know, we could just simply individually man all these guys up on the right. We already know that guy on the left is going to play really solid, and then, you know, we're going to be able to be right in here. So you see now they can't tell man or zone, and that's the beauty of this defensive system we want to try to force your opponent to have to guess are you in man are you in zone are you in match i don't know what you're doing pre-snap and that's where the pressure is going to be very valuable now if you want to learn my entire nickel over defensive ebook i do believe that this is one of the most powerful defenses this year make sure you're in our patreon for just ten dollars you'll be able to get access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks and in addition to that you'll also be getting access to all of the updates as well as any new ebooks that we will release we released a brand new defensive ebook in the patreon last week to go alongside of this nickel over and tomorrow we're going to be releasing a brand new offensive ebook so make sure that you're in there it's only ten dollars to sign up if you want to sign up head down to the description below and click the link down in the description thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the patreon